I'll shave my left eyebrow if you drop 40 points tonight at Devin Booker. The Phoenix Suns and Devin Booker tweeted what tonight? Hey there guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to the video. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That's right, you guys, the Phoenix Suns defeat the New Orleans Pelicans in overtime, 139 to 132. Devin Booker had 44 points, nearly had a triple-double, so let's talk about it. So that's right, you guys, the Phoenix Suns in New Orleans tonight, back-to-back -to -back road games. This was the Phoenix Suns' third game in five nights. Then they have one game off and will play Saturday in Houston against James Harden and Russell Westbrook. But you guys, this was a high scoring game at halftime. Both teams had 70 points or more and both teams were shooting 60%. This first half of this game was all offense from both teams. However, the Phoenix Suns did outscore the Pelicans bench and the Suns had 21 assists at halftime and they finished the game with 30. You guys, obviously the Pelicans did a great job to come back into this game. They clawed and they fought their way back into this game. But in overtime, the Pelicans just seemed out of gas. They seemed exhausted. And as Eddie Johnson pointed out, in overtime, the Phoenix Suns kind of used Devin Booker as a decoy. And players like Ricky Rubio would attack and score. And the Suns took over in overtime and got the victory. And yes, Devin Booker was the star of the night. Devin Booker in the third quarter alone scored 21 out of the Phoenix Suns' 23 points. The New Orleans New Orleans Pelicans only scored 21 points in the third quarter. So obviously Devin Booker was the star of the night. 44 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists. He had 5 three-pointers. But I really want to focus on Cam Johnson for a minute, who played 31 minutes tonight. A lot of it in the fourth quarter and in overtime. So they're really trusting the rookie. He's really composed. He's really confident. He had 18 points off the bench tonight four three-pointers, and Cam Johnson is the first rookie in Suns history to make four plus threes in two consecutive games. Frank Kaminsky had 20 points tonight. I thought he did a decent job. Kelly Oubre Jr. coming out of nowhere with 15 rebounds. That's right, Kelly Oubre with 15 rebounds, 14 points, three steals, and four blocks. One of those blocks coming in overtime very late in the game. Ricky Rubio absolutely took over. 13 points, 6 rebounds, 15 assists, and 4 steals. And again, Kelly Oubre had 15 rebounds in this game, and somehow the Phoenix Suns out-rebounded the New Orleans Pelicans tonight 51-40 to with no DeAndre Ayton and no Aaron Baines. This was a good rebounding night for the Phoenix Suns. And again, the New Orleans Pelicans did a great job of fighting their way back into this game and making the Suns beat them in overtime. Four Pelicans starters tonight had 20-plus points or more. Drew Holiday, J.J. Redick, Lonzo Ball, and Brandon Ingram. And Jackson Hayes had 17 points and this monstrous dunk on Czech Diallo. So as always, guys, please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. And as always, Valley Boy Stand Up.